Not sure where this area is, but it looked cool and it had food. Aha, this is Chew Jetty. Why you don't swim much in the ocean around Penang is the massive amount of jellyfish that are all over we can see in the water here. They look like some of the nasty ones too, so we'll stay out of the water. They're beautiful colors though. Georgetown they have these little scenes made out of wrought iron that give some of the history. It's a really cool touch. Look at these beautiful buildings. And speaking of beautiful, and here's Yuck Kung Si. We are down on Armenian Street. Another part of the historic district down here. What a gorgeous place to walk. We're gonna eat here at Jawi House. Jawi House. With some friends from the area we met on our bus trip up here. Oh, wow, that's our laksa. And then they squeeze it all over. And that's John and Victoria. Little rice. Little signature rice. Look at that, beautiful. Guess what? Another day wandering around gorgeous Georgetown. This little town is so cool for exploring. Great weekend. Sourdough shop is supposed to be one of the best in Penang. I got focaccia and swarm with um, eggs and tomato. Yum. Street is one of the best sidewalks in the whole town. Campbell Street has loads of goldsmiths, jewelry stores, fabric shops, and even a few Chinese groceries thrown in. Kate's been wanting to check out this traditional grocery store. This is the famous Blue Mansion, which is now a boutique hotel. Chong Pat Si, Blue Mansion. And these are the flowers that we had the rice last night, and we ate them. They do not smell, but they are absolutely beautiful. Tickets to go in are like four bucks, so I don't think we're gonna go in. But it looks pretty from the outside, it's a cool story. We'll be here later. It's closed now. What? A chocolate and coffee museum? Can we go? Absolutely. Oh, I told her to say no for self-preservation. This could get ugly. See, he, he says that with, without actually voicing it. I thought he said yes. <laughs> it's free. free. <laughs> Our favorite price. Look at this, step one on the history of chocolate wall. Mexico and ancient America used cacao as an offering to the gods. Sweet. Well, I was gonna avoid the chocolate, you know, to try and watch my health, but apparently it's wonderful for you. Look at that. I thought I needed to eat right exercise. All I need to do is eat chocolate. I like this place. And for coffee history, 9th century a goat herder found his goat reaction to coffee. He reported to Abbot in Ethiopia. You know, I cannot argue with their logic. 
but we escaped without buying anything but boy did we sample to our heart's content that was really cool what a great find my favorite was the chili one but boy was it hot it was good if you like our video leave the thumbs up and subscribe